Hello everyone, Cricket and Corky's Clubhouse here, coming at you with another unboxing. Um, I will get this uploaded at some point. I actually have already had an unboxing, so I'm not sure which one will get uh, uploaded first. But just quick update, um, I have been uh, kind of on autopilot, so you have been seeing things uploaded. Um, I prepared for a busy fall season. Um, I'm very much into Halloween and horror so I have been going back and forth uh, down to Orlando to do Halloween Horror Nights a whole bunch. And also I volunteer at um, some horror conventions. So I just came back from one in Tampa. Uh, I'm back in Georgia for a hot minute. And then I go back, have another horror convention at the end of the month, as well as obviously Halloween and things. But um, while I was gone, I did get a, several packages. And one of them was Jill. So, uh, this is another Jill. Um, as you know, I sold some Jills uh, a couple months ago, and that is the reason was so I could continue finding broken Jills and Jills that have been lost and abandoned, and uh, you know I plan on fixing them. So, um, thank you to everyone that has purchased one of my working Jills so far. I do plan on putting another one up um, hopefully this week because I'll be here for about two weeks, um, so I can get another one up and ready to go and a video posted and uh, she will go up for sale and that will free up another space um, because I've sold two and now I have gotten two that I need to work on. So um, this one came uh, um, off of online and she is not working. Uh, that was disclosed. Um, so I know already off the bat she doesn't work. How or why I don't know. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get into her but uh, this is her, and she is looking decent so far. She has her box, and um, everything looks to be in place. She has her hair ribbons. Her hair is okay. Uh, she, I kind of like looked her over. I don't see any cracks or anything. All of her screws are there. She's not broken like the last one where her hand or finger was broken off. Um, her legs seem to be in decent shape. One of them was kind of bent, so I got to see what happened with that. Um, she came with an original tape, which looks like has seen much better days. So I'm not very confident that that is going to work. Looks like it actually got wet at some point. Um, she came with health care, health plan, which is nice in good shape. And uh, this is interesting. She came with a care center card, which I had never seen. So um, let's see. We have the date. 12-25-87. So this literally was Christmas Day 1987. How cool is that? That this came. Um, and it was somebody in Miami. I'm sure this person is all grown up now and out there with their own family. But look, it's cute. They even like put their name. <laughs> they wrote it on the bottom. Uh, but I haven't seen this card, so I'm not 100% sure where it, it came from. Um, unless, I, I guess, the parents probably got the doll. They got Jill for Christmas and uh, went ahead and opened her and read the care plan and sent off for her care center uh, ID. So it says, if you should have any problems with Jill, call this toll-free number. Many problems can be solved with a telephone call. And then... The child signed it. I don't know. But it's got their actual, like, I'm sure they're not there anymore, but their old address um, and the date. So that's pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't seen this before. Um, so, doo -doo -doo. yeah, she looks to be in good shape. I'm not going to make this video too long. Um, I did check the back, and uh, she does have a little corrosion, which could be why she doesn't work. So we'll see how that goes. My only concern is her eyes. Um, they look great, but when I got her, they were down. And then I noticed, let's see if I can do this off camera. Um, well, maybe, maybe this one. There we go. So that's not good. See how I pulled her eye? Her eyes were down like that. Not good at all because that is not possible. Um, there are two little plastic pins that hold the eye eyelids and they connect to a wire frame and that's how she blinks. So the fact that I can just move those up and down is uh, either one or two things. Either she, uh, I'm hoping, 
somebody maybe have met has messed with her and maybe they're just unhooked but more than likely uh i'm not looking forward to finding this out but if the if they're doing that that possibly means that the two tiny little plastic pieces that hold the eyelids uh, to make them blink are broken off uh, and those can't be fixed they are very tiny um I think I might have some replacement eyelids. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, if they're broke, like there's, I can take the eyelashes off, but that's about it. Um, otherwise, they're just, they're toast. So I'm a little concerned about that, um, but I won't be checking that for quite a while because I have to work on the rest of the body. But um, her makeup looks good. Everything looks good. I'm, I'm pleased. She was a decent price. Um, she was priced very high, of course. And you know, if you've watched my videos before, you know I have a problem with uh, broken jewels that are going for lots and lots of money. You know, you still end up, I would say, paying at least minimum these days, 300, if not more, for broken jewels. Um, and again, that's how I validated selling my completely restored fixed ones for much more, basically twice that, um, because, you know, it's a lot of work that goes into them um, and a lot of parts. So like, let's say I get this Jill and I can't fix her. I find something in it that just doesn't work. She'll be for parts, meaning I will take parts to from her to work on other Jills. So basically that means that I had to spend over $300 for parts. So thank you all for being understanding when you see how much my Jills are going for. Um, but it, there's a lot that goes into it. It's not like I'm just getting them, fixing them and slapping them up for sale. Um, they're not very easy to get fully working again, but I'm hoping for the best with her. Um, hoping that I can just get her working, find out what's going on, hoping it's corrosion. I can work on that. And, uh, oh, she doesn't have her leg warmers. I just realized, um, she's got everything else, but, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get her going. So that is it for now. Um, I hopefully will be posting more, um, uh, live-ish type videos um, and repairs and stuff when I get back in town uh, after spooky season. So until then, happy Halloween all, and I'll be talking to you.